All right, guys, in this video, I am going to cover the topic of homepage SEO. Should you optimize your homepage for any keywords or should you do a, all internal pages? This question pops up a lot. People are asking whether they should optimize their homepage and how to deal with that if they have an internal service or money page or product page that's targeting the similar keywords. So in this video, I wanna give you some general things to think about and consider when deciding whether you should optimize your homepage for SEO or whether you should do an internal page. So. There are three main factors that I look at when I'm deciding whether I want to optimize a homepage or whether I want to optimize an internal page. Now, actually, I'm going to add a fourth one here because this one's actually important. And that is, does the homepage already rank? If the homepage is already ranking for some keywords, then typically speaking, you'll want to leave that and just leave the homepage and keep working with it. It's very difficult to get Google to switch the page that's already ranking and keep that page. So you can do it if it's like a page that you end up removing and redirecting or something like that, then you can switch the page. But if you are not going to get rid of it, for instance, you can't get rid of your homepage, then it's going to be practically impossible. So if the homepage is already ranking, then typically speaking, the best way to go is to to just leave the homepage ranking and just optimize it even further to get it to rank higher. However, if you are starting with a brand new website, there are three more points that you should consider. And these are the ones I usually go through. The first one is, are you going to be making a money page that will conflict or cannibalize with the homepage? So whether that's a service page, a product, a category, whatever the case may be, are you going to have that internal page on your website? If you are, then you should not optimize the homepage for the same keywords that that page will be optimized for because they are going to cannibalize you can know that in advance and you're going to have problems so in that case and this is usually what i do i prefer to optimize internal pages personally because i feel i have more i can do more with them as opposed to a home page which is supposed to serve as a portal to the internal pages as well as the landing page which, where that's where things get tricky if you do an internal page you can basically just make it a landing page and just focus on that and it can be more relevant to the keyword in my opinion so what i usually do is i will just brand the home page so put the brand name as the meta title and the h1 etc and not put the main keyword and then the internal pages can have the main keyword for whatever that thing is so let's say it's a plumber and you have a brand name i'll put the brand name as the home page and then you'd have plumbing as an internal page and that would talk about plumbing that's how i usually handle it now the other thing you need to keep in mind is are you planning to expand in the future so let's say for instance you're a plumber in miami and you're just focusing on miami specifically but you may well want to expand into town Tampa one day or something like that. If you rank your homepage for Plumber Miami, it's going to be very difficult to start now making it relevant for other things like Tampa or, you know, let's not talk about other states entirely. That's going to be extremely difficult to get Google to recognize that it's now relevant to those other states. So if you're planning to expand location or service or product, so if you're expanding into other niches as well in different products or different services, you'll want to leave the homepage unoptimized or well, not unoptimized optimized, but you'll want to focus your specific pages on internal pages and not make the homepage super relevant for that particular niche or that particular location. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult to expand in the future. And this is also something to consider with the URL as well that will play a part in this. If your URL contains the very specific location or niche, you're going to have a really hard time. Like if you have, you know, plumbermiamiflorida.com and you want to try and rank for plumber Tampa, it's going to be very, very difficult. So you need to keep that in mind as well. That will play into this. And now the last thing is what are your competitors in page one doing? So what I would do is I would actually go to Google and just search what is showing up. So let's go Plumber Miami and have a look and see what's happening. Now, we'll probably find a mix of different ones. So we've got a home page here. Now we have a service page here with a location specific. Then we have another home page because they're doing the URL with a with the keyword in the URL. Then we have another page, but this is a very big website. Then another home page, home page. So here, the majority of them are ranking for the home page, and that can give you an idea that that might be a good idea. However, there are some that do rank for specifics. Like these guys, they're on page two, yes, but they do rank with a location page. Here's another location page. There was a location page on page one. Then there's a bunch of home pages ranking because they have the specific location, because they have the specific location in the home page. Here's another one on page two with a specific location page. So these are things to think about. 
about and consider, see what's actually ranking on page one. In this particular case, because so many are ranking on page one, except for these guys who are probably a very powerful website, this might be a situation where you might want to consider using the home page to optimize for this specific keyword because of this. So this is how I would look at it. However, there are definitely other keywords where it won't be the home page. It'll be internal pages as well. And I would also argue that you could get a well-optimized internal page ranking as these guys have done for this particular area. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So that's the checklist that I use when deciding whether to use the home page or an internal page for a particular keyword. In most cases, I just use an internal page. I prefer to do it that way personally, but that's just how I do it. So hopefully this helped you in deciding this. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I will answer them. Otherwise, if you want me to coach you on how to do SEO and Google ads for only $49 a month, go to learndominatemarketing.com. And if you'd like us to do the SEO and Google ads for your business and get your results, go to dominatemarketing.com. .io and book a call with us there. Catch you on the next one.